That was a bad intro. Oh my god, hi! Sorry this video sounds a little echoey. We're trying something new. Uh, but let me know if this is like a big issue or if this is okay for right now. But don't mind the mess. I was doing laundry. Don't look at that. Um, I'll just sit over here. Good enough? Like it never happened? Okay, good. Anyways, today we're going to be doing another Ipsy bag. I got the Glam Bag. Glam Bag. This is like the original thing. Is $12 or $15 now. I should have probably looked that up before I started recording, huh? Oh, well. So, this one, um, they did offer me a gift with reactivating this. So I'm just gonna see, we're just gonna try it out. Um, see if I wanna do another one and just see, see what I got. I don't know. I don't remember what the free gift was. I reactivated this about a month ago or so. And this is, it's here. It just came today. I actually didn't even open it or anything. It's all, what is it? It has the little, I didn't need this. It has the little seal on it, but we're gonna open it now and see what I got. So the first thing I want to pull out is the bag. Oh, the bag has stuff in it. Ooh, it's been a while since I've done these. I forgot they put stuff in the bag, and the bag is kind of translucent. I'll just drop that on the floor. The bag is kind of translucent. It's a little plastic bag little airplane on it. It says escape. And I guess we'll see what's in this part because there's still a product in here. Ooh. Oh, there's two. Ooh, there's a, a bent brush. That was kind of stuck to the bottom. Um, okay, we'll do the brush next. But I guess this was the product that I got. I don't remember this. Okay, so to show you, uh, Candy Johnson and Pure Lease Butter Me Orange Creamsicle Body Butter. Uh, I feel like this wasn't the product. I don't know. Like, I don't remember. I could probably go back and look and see if this safety seal, if this was the product that was like offered to me if I reactivated, but. I don't remember. I just feel like, if you know me, I have sensitive skin, I also have psoriasis, 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 whatever. Um, and I wouldn't pick a lotion just because I'm picky about lotions, but, ooh, it smells good. It does smell like creamsicle. Ew, that smells like, well, like if you mix a creamsicle into your lotion, like, it still has like a lotion smell to it, like you know what I mean? Like if you got unscented lotion and then you mix creamsicle in there. But it seems okay, shea butter, coconut oil, a lot of extracts and stuff, perfumed, like heavily perfumed. So it may not be the best for my skin, but I'll still give it a try. And now we go on to the actual bag. So inside the, um, inside this part, the little envelope, was this very bent brush. This is, ooh, Firma? This is a Firma 201 brush and it is, <laughs> it is very bent, oh. Okay, uh, hopefully that kind of fixes when I wash it. We'll, we'll, we'll see later. But, so now we're gonna get into the actual bag, and I feel something round. This is, what brand is this? It doesn't say a brand, there's a BP. I'm assuming this is Bella Pierre. That's the only brand I know that's BP, distributed by Bella Pierre. Yeah, so there's a banana powder, ooh. And it's, just a nice little yellow powder. Um, see if I could swatch it, if I could find the little tab that you need Q-tips, that you need tweezers to open. Even with, okay, 
A lot of people have trouble opening these because of nails. Um, I have no nails and I could barely grab the little tab. Like, I'm really freaking hurting my fingers on the outside to kind of pinch it. Oh my god. I'm not getting tweezers. No, I'm dedicated. I need to get this without tweezers. I'm getting tweezers. Okay, I got tweezers, and we're gonna go at this again and see if this works. You guys wanna watch? <laughs> Let me see if I can do this backwards. There's a little tab. <laughs> like, literally, even with tweezers, this crap won't come off. I just ripped the tab off. Oh. Okay, I don't care how good of a powder this is. I already hate it and I'll never buy it. Just because how difficult this stupid thing is to open. Like, maybe I could grab that. It's a... I ripped the tab off because tweezers, but... Oh my god, I can't grab it. This is going to be a whole video of me... Trying to pull off this stupid safety seal. Oh god, there we go. Oh, we're getting it. Oh, maybe I can hold on to the dry little squares. Ew. Do you guys see, like, it's leaving behind all the glue residue? This is so stuck on here, it just pulled up the freaking sifter. Okay, let's swatch this powder. Oh my god, it's not being up. Who cares? I don't even, you know what? I don't even want this anymore now. It just made a big old dusty mess. Okay, I swirled my finger on the powder. Wow. Huh. In person, it doesn't look like anything. On camera, you can see like... I don't know if you can see that kind of yellowy matte spot on my hand. In person, it doesn't look like anything. So, um... That was 10 minutes of me trying to open this. I'm sure I edited most of that part out. But, yeah. So I already peeked in there. Whoops, wasn't supposed to do that. But I saw a box. Ooh, this is a space case. Ooh, okay. Space case cosmetics is one. I actually have, hold on. I looked at myself. Sorry, I was supposed to look at you. So I already have a space case cosmetics from an Ipsy box before. And this is like a, you know, like ColourPop, how they have the pot shadows. It's really nice. I do like it. Um, I don't like their highlighters. They're like what ColourPop would call a Super Shock highlighter. That I actually unboxed, I believe, in uh, my last video from Ipsy. And they're very hard to use. So hopefully this is an eyeshadow. Garbage. Okay, it is an eyeshadow. It is called Gold Base. It just took me a minute because I don't know where their stuff is. Okay, there is. It is called Gold Base. It is an eyeshadow and just took me a minute to find the name because I don't buy Space Case. I don't even know where I would find it. And it actually looks a lot like the highlighter. Like it's just a plain... So these are the two highlighters that they uh, had in one of the other Ipsy boxes. And it actually looks like this one. Those could be like the same thing. Let's give it a little swatch. Ooh, pretty though. Eh. 
let's let's give another layer. Give it benefit of the doubt. You guys couldn't even see that. Sorry. It's all right. See, okay, here's the thing. If I'm going to use something like this, you know, because you have a palette. And you have a palette, you could get this in like a pressed powder formula. That shouldn't be very hard to do. If I'm going to use one of these little pots and like take the effort of storing it and individually picking these out since it's not in a palette, uh, it better be something special. Like ColourPop that released these and they were like marbled with glitter in it. I'll make the effort and I'll pull it out of my little stock and I'll use it. This, I feel like I'm probably never going to use, just to be honest. I'll try it. I'll definitely try it. But I feel like it's just going to be a waste. Ooh, I feel a paper. Maybe it's the prices. It is... It's just like a stupid little card. Take a break. Here's five steps on how to take a break. And log on to Ipsy to find out more about your products. Um, that was a waste of cardboard. Like, they already send stuff like that in the emails, but... Okay. A uh, little too... Ooh, it's a glow for a cause. Had fibers on it. No shade name, but ingredients, it's just a bunch, like, oils. It's a little chapstick, and, oh, it should have a safety seal, huh? I'm not trying to rip it off. Oh, my God, I'm going to, <laughs> oh, never mind, I got it. I was going to say, I'm going to throw this away. I am not going to fight with it. And the safety seal didn't even rip cleanly. So now I get to go back in and clean that up because I can't take off the cap. Oh, I got it. Kind of. Okay, well, now this isn't getting passed around because I just put my mouth all over it. But it smells like I don't know. It feels like an oily chapstick, like. It smells a little bubblegummy. Ooh, I just <laughs> messed it all up with the cap. Whoops. Oh well. I have a bunch of chapsticks anyways. Um, last product is a little tube by Byris, Byris, Tor Pitening Pearl Clay Mask. Um, okay. Uh, cleanse, Titan Pores, and Sebum Control. There's like no makeup. Oh, I guess there was makeup, but it just wasn't good makeup. Um, <laughs> look how big the safety seal is compared to the cap. Like, I don't think you can see, but it's like this over the little cap. At least it's safety seal. Ooh, this. <coughs> it smells funky. Ew, it's like, it kind of looks like, uh, you guys ever used Glam Glow? Like, the one with tea in it? I don't remember what it's called, but it's like chunky. And it's like oils coming out of this too. It smells funky. I don't know. Should I show you guys? Like the little... It has like gritty bits in there. Like... It doesn't... Like something... I don't know. When I opened it, that smell knocked me out. I don't know what these gritty bits are. I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's like... There's no information. There's no card. Remember, Ipsy used to give you like their little card with, oh, this is the product and this is how much it cost and... I have no prices, not even the full size, and I think I kind of wasted my money. Even if this was 12 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever, it's 
not anything I really care for. Like, this is okay. Like, it's a big body lotion. I'm pretty sure it's worth the price. It doesn't say, I don't know a price, but I'm sure it's worth like 12 bucks or to eight bucks or something. Um, I don't know what this is. Don't know the brand. Let's see if it dries up. This is like a regular kind of gold eyeshadow. Got a very bent brush. A horribly packaged uh, banana powder. That doesn't seem like it does anything in real life. And a chapstick. Um, all in all, I, I think this will be my last Ipsy box for a while again. Uh, sorry if you guys like watching Ipsy unboxings, but I just spent... This video is now 20 minutes long. Spent 10 minutes of it trying to open this. And like the products, they don't just don't seem that worth it to me. I mean, if I known what was in this before I bought it, I definitely would have skipped it. I would rather spend the 12 or 15 bucks on one item that I might, you know, that I probably do like. You know, like I would rather pick it because all these, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. I don't know. Well, I guess that's it. I'm pretty disappointed. Uh, yeah. That's, I guess, uh, this was my box. Um, let me know what you guys think. Would you be happy with this? Um, just watching the mask dry. Yeah, though, that was it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm disappointed. I don't know about you, but I'm disappointed. And let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and... I will see you later. Bye.